Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I've been kind of busy lately working on things like organizing an alternative uh, vehicle show as part of the Wisconsin Mother Earth News Fair. But uh, when I'm not doing things like that, I've still been doing more work on the Vectrex. Uh, the latest is I've added a couple of extra chargers that I built from some Meanwell power supplies. So let's come in close and take a look at what I've been doing. For starters, I do finally now have a EVSC at my house. This is a uh, happens to be GE, could be any brand, but it's a 30 amp, 240 volt. This one was pre-wired, so I could just add a plug. And yes, this is all rated for outdoor use. Also got my sign right here. Uh, this is nice because uh, uh, it's portable. I can temporarily rig it up somewhere, uh, like for a car show, for example. But it also means I can experiment with J1772. So, for example, what I have here is, uh, this is my home-built uh, 1772 adapter box. So basically, you plug the power into there, and then it has a 120-volt style outlet, which actually puts out 240 volts. And then I've got the communications in here, um, which uh, is basically just a resistor, and I've got that set on a switch. So basically, plug in the J1772 flip this to on, you get 240 volt power out of here. Now I've got a three-way um, stuck in there, and the reason why is I've got three chargers, so I simply have all three plugged in in there. Now the stock charger on this bike is set for 1500 watts. It's basically under the right-hand side of the cowling. And then I also have two 1000 watt chargers. Now these are made out of a couple of Meanwell power supplies. This is about a 150 volt battery pack. Um, so here I've got three 48 volt power supplies. Um, each one is set up to 50 volts and then they're connected in series uh, for 150 volts, about a thousand watts. So that gives me 1000 watts on this side, another thousand watts over there. 1500 watts in here for uh, 3.5 kilowatt nominal charging uh, and that's less than 30 amps at 240 volts so uh, pretty good charging uh, using a public EV charging station setup. Now these uh, chargers all run on either 120 or 240 so I could also use these on uh, three 120 volt uh, 15 amp circuits. Now, as you might guess from the plywood and the bungee cords, this is just a temporary setup. But mounting the chargers on either side, I did still have enough room for my feet, uh, and I didn't have to remove any uh, of the bodywork on the cycle. I probably still will be removing some bodywork, but not quite yet. Now, let's say I'm somewhere where there aren't any public EV charging stations, uh, but maybe I'm somewhere where there's campgrounds or there's RV parks. I built this. This is a 50 amp connector. It's a NEMA 1550, which is kind of the standard for high power 240 volt for RVs. Uh, what's kind of neat about it is uh, basically from here to here, the two hots, you get 240 volts, but from a hot to a ground or a uh, hot to neutral, uh, you get 120 volts. So I wired this up so that I have four outputs on it and three of them are 240 volt. Now they're still going to kind of that typical American 15 amp, 120 volt style plug. So I've got three at 240 volts for the chargers, plus one at 120 volts. So I could charge a camera or uh, power any other uh, typical equipment that I'd want. Now here's one last interesting thing. This is the wall charger for my smartphone and on the back end, it's just a USB connection, five volts at one amp. But if you read the really fine print in the middle here, it's almost impossible to read and it's tiny, but it says that this can run off anywhere from 100 to 240 volts, which means I could plug it straight into this 240 volt connection, or I could also run it off of that J1772 connection and charge my phone directly off of there. So pretty cool that I can be out and about. I can be running 240 volts and I can even charge my cell phone. Well, that's it for now. Um, swing on my 300mpg.org for all the latest on my projects. See you next time.